You know what I'm saying? And he wasn't being Takachi 6 9 when he was around me, he was being Danny. Right. So he was going, so what am I supposed to do? And I, I was helping him, trying to tell him what to do. You know what I'm saying? And then I did, the I did tell him not to go to Chicago. I told him, don't do that. Oblock right here. This is y'all want me in Chicago. Oblock right here. I should call no block. It's 10 o'clock. That. Ain't outside. It's only 10 p.m. 6 9 ain't cool. Oh, no, they got the man running around. It's funny. Funny. Yeah, funny as a rat. You can't compete with a rat on the street. You know what I'm saying? And I keep telling y'all that shit. Start responding to that clown. Last time you said something, I ain't had time. But today, I got time. You better get off my line, rat boy. You really better leave me alone. I ain't the one. 6 9 has easily became one of the most controversial rappers in the music industry. From snitching on his street team to constantly starting beefs online, most rappers do not like him. So here's what rappers truly think of 6 9 Back before 6 9 was arrested and had to snitch his way out of his court case featuring 9 Trey, most rappers actually enjoyed Takashi's music and even liked him as a person, such as Rap OG 50 Cent. He used to mentor 6 9 before his legal issues came around. 6 9 originally reached out to 50 Cent, asking for help to escape the streets back before he was arrested. 50 Cent would go on to speak about it further in his book, Hustle Harder, Hustle Smarter, where he would go and say this. Takachi's image was of a tough, reckless instigator, but he was actually a sweet at heart. As his star rose, Takachi and I began to build a friendship. One day he called and asked if he can come to my office. He had some run-ins with the law, and promoters were starting to get nervous booking him. He needed advice. Takachi got right to the point. 50, what am I supposed to do? He was smart enough to know he was in over his head. Your biggest issue is going to be internal, I told him. You got too many people around you, and they're not really supporting you. They're supposed to be your team, but they don't have your best interests at heart. If you don't get that situation together, it's going to be a problem. As 50 Cent would continue speaking further about Takashi 6 9 in an interview he did with Hot 9 you know what I'm saying? And he wasn't being Takachi 6 9 when he was around me, he was being Danny. Right. So he was going, so what am I supposed to do? And I, I was helping him, trying to tell him what to do. You know what I'm saying? And then I did, the I did tell him not to go to Chicago. I told him, don't do that. You know what I'm saying? You saying ain't, ain't, ain't nobody out there like the set of guys you got around you, you wrong. You know what I'm saying? And it, they did it anyway, but they did it to make fun instead of going out there like that. Were you saddened you by the way it played out with Takashi? Yeah, it was, it was, that definitely was... I've never seen that. Despite 6 9 snitching on his street team to be released from prison, 50 Cent still thought his rap career would continue to be successful. Uh, I can't get a consensus from people about whether or not 6 9 is going to be able to be successful as a rapper after everything that he did. I think, he, think, I think he will be. You think he will be successful? You, yeah. You, you think that enough people, you think Takashi 6 9 will be successful? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Those people. We look at it and say, you wanted me to do 40 years for guys that, that slept with my girlfriend and took my money and was going to my mother. With what looked like such a promising friendship, unfortunately, would then start to split, as the two have not connected ever since Takashi 6 9 snitched on 9 Trey. As 6 9 would go and say, and I quote, Nah, I never talked to him. The last time I talked to 50, he tried to get me a lawyer while I was locked up. That's the last time I ever communicated with him. This is most likely due to 50 Cent being from the old school era of the music industry and in the streets where if you snitch, you're cut off it's as simple as that. However, most old school rappers are not as nice to 6 9 as 50 Cent was. As we saw Snoop Dogg respond to 6 9s release from prison saying, all these media outlets making snitching cool, I'm old school. Screw 6 9 and everyone pushing his line right now. All New York G's feel me on this. And if you don't, then you too. At Meek Mill, if you allow sucka stuff, then you a sucka. Stay sucka free. Now 6 9 would go and respond to Snoop Dogg in an Instagram clip showing that Suge Knight allegedly said that Snoop Dogg is an informant himself. Oh, Snoop would never come. I mean, Snoop was on, you know, we'd be the trial for him, but then he was on probation, then he got caught with each time it's nothing, and that got violated. For the street guys, the street guys know what I'm talking about. There's no puzzle. I mean, if you get a guy that constantly get in trouble and never gonna come to prison, 
That's because he's a phone, he's a rat, a snitch, yeah. you know. As Takashi would then even follow it up, commenting, If you're in denial, the paperwork is online and Suge Knight speaks on it from prison, but we choose to ignore who we want to call rats. Now, Snoop Dogg would then end up getting fired up after 6 9 continued going after him on social media, where Snoop Dogg responded in this video. Last time he said something, I ain't had time. But today, I got time. You better get off my line. Rat boy, you really better leave me alone. I ain't the one. No way. No way. Go on and do your and get out my way. Dog head, rainbow head, dog head. Yeah, you. As Snoop would ultimately respond to what Suge Knight said in this video where he would comment saying, Everybody knows I have nothing to do with Suge Knight getting time. We had the same lawyers. This rat reached by calling me a snitch. FYI, he most likely drew up the papers. He does work with the feds. Suge and I are on great terms now. So if I told on him, we would never be cool and that's a fact. So carry on. The beef even went as far as Takashi69 releasing leaked videos as Snoop Dogg apparently cheating on his wife. When will you be ready? And you're gonna see me? Captioning on the post, For two years, while I was in jail, people started with me. Trying to end my career, it didn't work. Now they say, leave me alone. This is the world we live in. Go apologize to your wife. As while Snoop Dogg and 6 ix drama got very intense, the beef between 6 9 and Lil Durk is completely something else. This all began before 6 9 was arrested on RICO charges in the summer of 2018, where we would see 6 9 and Lil Durk hop on an IG Live together to try to calm down the feud between Takashi and Chicago rapper Chief Keef. However, this wouldn't work as 6 9 would then visit O Block later that year, trying to prove that O Block wasn't really about that life. O Block right here, However, this would just end up in 6 9 getting exposed just a few weeks later, as 6 9 claimed in the video that it was 10 o'clock p.m., but security footage revealed that it was 3 in the morning, not to mention that 6 9 was constantly looking around, trying to make sure nobody saw him, and once a car began coming down the street, he would then quickly hurry back into his SUV, close the door, and drive off. However, this would only be the beginning of Takashi 6 9 trying to mess with Lil Durk and King Vaughn, as when the news broke that 6 9 was snitching out of his 47 year prison sentence, Lil Durk would go and tweet, 6 9 is a snitch. As King Vaughn would then shortly also tweet when Nicki Minaj hopped on 6 9 song titled Trolls by saying, Damn, and I used to love Nicki Minaj. I know so many guys that'll do anything to make it, go against every moral, and break every code. Trade on every friend just for a taste of the fast life. Desperate and easily moved people. 6 9 would then end up talking talking on DJ Academics' IG Live, stating that Lil Durk isn't a big enough rapper to beef with. Durk try to drop, well, Lil Durk is just a local. We know he's a local. He's never had number one. Yeah, but, oh. all right, let me ask you something. Can Lil, can Lil Durk sell out a tour? Can Lil Durk sell out 5,000 people in the Netherlands? I wouldn't say that. In response to Takashi 6 9 talking down on Lil Durk, Durk would then respond on his verse on the Laugh Now Cry Later song with Drake, where he would say, and I quote, Can you not play that little boy in the club? Cause we don't listen to rats. As 6 9 continued to escalate the beef when he visited O Block once again, but this time he would bring a set of flowers in hand to mock Lil Durk's late cousin Nooski. As King Vaughn would go on to respond that all of that is not funny at all and he needs to stop playing around. Six nine ain't cool. Oh no, they got this man running around and it's funny funny. Yeah, funny as funny. This man, cause it's like this. Oh no, I don't get no six 
69, I don't know. But he told them all type of people, they people locked up and, and people family members. And people gotta take care of them people, and them people got kids, and them people, you know. You know, it's like he done told them, you have to hear he told them a lot of people, like, so. I know it's people like he probably ain't did. And he told on him. Shortly after, we would then see Lil Durk also speaking back on Takashi69. However, he was in his own Instagram Live, and he didn't hold back. Alright, you can't compete with a rat on the street, you know what I'm saying? And I keep telling y'all that, that start responding to that clown. Then, with the sad passing of rapper King Von happening just a few months later, 6ix9ine used this to continue his beef with Lil Durk, where 6ix9ine would be seen commenting on IG to Lil Durk's post about King Von, where he would go and say, Nooski, now Von, and you're still rapping? Go pick up a firearm. As 6ix9ine would even take it as far to the point where he would print out t shirts with King Von's face printed on them. He would then be seen wearing it around the city, as 6ix9ine even said that he would get into the ring with Lil Durk in this clip. Yeah, yo, you get Lil Durk in the ring right now, I'm, yo, I will volley him on King Bones. Yo, he gonna, he gonna hit me with the he's doing right now, nothing. He go, yo, nah, he gonna hit me with the, yo, bro, you making it hot right now, chill, chill. <laughs> then we would see 6ix9ine respond in one of his most recent songs titled Jenna, where 6ix9ine would say the lyrics, your man got hit and you made a diss track, go get a strap and get some get back. Your man got hit, he's not coming back. Go get a strap and get some get back. Obviously being directed towards Chicago rapper Lil Durk. However, this would then lead into the drama that he had with Meek Mill. As Meek Mill would go and tweet, 6 9 going up in federal courthouse today. Message of the day, don't be an internet street member, just be yourself. As it wouldn't be too long after where 6 9 began going after Meek Mill once he was released into the free world. 6 9 hopped on an IG Live as soon as he was released from jail, saying that he only snitched because how the members of 9 Trey were treating him, sleeping with his baby mama, and even warning him about his family. So Meek Mill would go and respond saying, I hope that he is going live to apologize on the people he told on. Y'all must have forgot that a rat got Nipsey, and he wasn't even supposed to be on the street. 6 9 even then would respond to Meek Mill saying, imagine having a newborn come into the world and you're still oppressed about a guy with rainbow hair. As early on in the year 2021, these two would then finally have an altercation between each other in real life, and it was all captured from Takashi 6 9 himself, Recording it from his cell phone. That's a big security. This is security. Look, and you with a cop. Look, you take. And you with police. And you with police. Where we would then even see Eminem go after 6ix9ine in a video clip. Some were saying 6ix9ine only did this for promotional reasons due to him dropping new music, but many believe that it was just for a different reason. If, if someone's gonna for you, they obviously heard of you, right? Yeah, that's the how, how do you... I think we went we went over that, but, but, but I, I do think that that is important to stress because if I you like I never heard of you. Then shortly after the Eminem beef, Takashi 6 9 would just disappear for an entire year. However, not many realized that he is the reason Detroit rapper 42 Doug is in jail right now. When 6 9 disappeared for an entire year, he came back and released his song titled Jenna, which led to 42 Doug responding shortly after. Did the back and forth between 42 Doug and Takashi 69 cause the feds to escalate their pursuit of 42 Doug? I would actually say absolutely yes. Let me explain this to you. March 12th is when 42 Doug was supposed to report to the federal prison. It wasn't until April 29th that the feds actually went out and started looking for him. What happened on April 26th and April 27th? The Doug and Takashi 69 internet exchange about starting a boxing. As with 42 Doug responding to Takashi 69 where he would go on and say and I quote, I hate when people do stuff to good people. Rats involving white boys and street stuff. People be lames and could have pulled up on so many others, but they pull up on someone with nothing to do with nothing. Y'all can never expect non-street people to understand the streets. These people running up, trying to ruin his life, knowing a real man would deal with you. As 6 9 would then respond to him on Instagram Live, where he would say that he's gonna 
to get in a hotel room and see what happens. However, with these two beefing back and forth on social media, it obviously went viral online. And with 6 9 still technically being a federal informant from his time snitching, when 6 9 gets in any sort of street beef online, the feds are quick to look it over. When looking into 4-2 Doug, the feds realized he has an arrest warrant. So this is what triggered the 4-2 Doug manhunt, resulting in his arrest, as he was failing to surrender himself into jail for a small crime. A manhunt was then created by a special forces police team, as he would then quickly be arrested, and he's now looking up to five years inside a federal prison, all due to beefing with 6 9 online.